Hey everyone, it's Sarah, Repeat Crafter Me. I am working on a little blanket for my Crochet Cute Forest friends. This is um, kind of a design that comes off of the cover image of my new book, Crochet Cute Forest Friends. There's 26 patterns in the book. It is available for pre-order right now. So I just took the Forest Friends text and I went on stitchfiddle.com and created this graph. So I'm making a single crochet graph can and I just wanted to show you real quick how to carry the yarn when you're working on pieces like this. Um, this technique works for uh, a lot of different uh, graphgan type projects. Um, obviously this one is very text heavy. You could use this if you're using a picture. This is just a pixel graph. So I'm um, each one of these little squares is just one crochet stitch. So I'm actually right. So it's here's the F and here's the R. Here's the I. This is the E, so I've just come off of the N here, and I can see, I mean, this is pretty easy because it's all going to be yellow, 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 and then here's my little three for my green E, and then yellow again, and then I'm going to come over here with the stitches for my green. So what I'm doing is, as I'm making my stitches, I'm carrying um, whatever color I'm not using with me. So right now I'm just working on these yellow stitches. So I'm kind of holding the green yarn right up against where I'm about to work into. And just like that, I'm crocheting through the stitch and over that yarn. Okay. I'm gonna keep going. Now this is my last stitch before I need to change to green. So before I finish that single crochet, I'm dropping the yellow and I'm picking up the green and I'm finishing that stitch with the green. Now I'm holding the yellow now against my stitches and I'm gonna work in with the green and over the yellow. And then same idea, this is my last green stitch before I switch back to yellow. So I'm coming in here before I finish, I'm dropping the green, I'm picking up the yellow, finishing that single crochet Okay, now I'm holding my yellow yarn and I'm holding my green against those stitches and, whoop, and continue. There we go, just over that green. Okay, now let's do this again. Dropping that yellow, finishing that last stitch there with the green. we go. Now, yes, just because the green is so much darker than the yellow, you can see a little bit through the stitches. It's okay because overall, when you're looking at it, it's just going to look really nice. You're going to be able to see these letters once they're finished. Can't wait to show you guys the finished product. I hope this helped a little bit. Um, again, this helps to, um, you know, really not have any ends to weave in. I have both of my yarn skeins attached um, and I can't wait to show you guys this when it's finished. And please feel free to pre-order the book. I will have the link to that in my comments.